All right, guys, so let's get busy. Let's do some wrenching. All right, I'm not going to lie, man. This YouTube thing slows me down, like, tremendously, man. All right? But I'm not going to do piece by piece. I don't have time for that. Seriously, I, I got to get busy. And this is just a quick look. Once again, before we build this up, all right, this is what happened. If you're new to the channel, you guys can go back. I can show you how this happened. All right, this is still new. And I'm excited to get back into this here. All right. Okay. Here's the chassis we will be doing. I showed you guys in the previous video. Part number again. Okay, so let's get busy. I got my, my Arbor Press here because I was pressing some bearings before. Um, here's just a little something of, I got my Baja hardware on this side and my Primal RC hardware on this side. So it's pretty cool. And I think I got this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Right. Very cool. And it, what I like about it is you can have it sideways and everything. The washers and screws won't go into each other like this does. All right, just started doing it. This I got from Harbor Freight. All right, but uh, it's good and everything. But if you have it vertically, like I do on this tool bag here, I, I can't stand it. It just started happening. I guess it starts breaking in, start getting stretched out and using it. Um, see how it's it lifts. So every now and then you'll have flat washers and nuts that are tiny hardware going mixing in with other boxes here. I love this that. tool here. I got it with my MTXL. Very nice. All right. All right. I did say that I was going to start working on my MTXL. So stay tuned for that. All right. I just want to do this first. I want to get this out of the way. The MTXL may be after Christmas. All right. Because that's going to be a really big build. This one here, we're just going to... I'm going to keep the rear end in. I was going to really go over this, but I'm going to keep the stock rear end in. Keep a bunch of stuff stock. Just go over the engine a bit. Replace the chassis and top plate and upgrade the shocks a bit and probably shock uh, tower. All right, so we'll see. Well, I got to lay out all my Baja parts out here and then decide what I'm going to use here, okay? I really wish I had the Roven upgraded kit for this, but uh, I can always do that in the future. All right, uh, so it's really not needed to do that now. All right, servos staying the same, the linkage, it's staying the same. I may get that twisted one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I do not know if I'm going to extend the hubs. I, I really kind of like the way this car is stock, man. I really do. I mean, it's. I think it's just a perfect, fun, little midget shorty Baja. The width is great. The length is great for fun. And so I don't know, it turns really good. So I don't know, I don't know if by Wiley in it <clears throat> would be a plus or not. I know it's definitely a plus for the regular Bajas, but I don't know if it's necessary for this little shorty. I don't know, I think I, I may do that. I may put the extended hubs, not sure, we'll, we'll see. This is what I'm up to right now. Taking her apart. I will be using, sorry, I will be reusing this engine. I liked how it performed. All right, so one thing I wanna just bring up real quick, very simple thing, I just, every time I, when I get to something, sometimes memories start appearing here. And one of the memories, uh, is I have known a lot of people that would screw up their exhaust bolts and break their tips on their tools, All right? Well, when you go to break off bolts or, or something that's uh, like an engine bolt or something that could be stuck there, do not use those Allen tools, you will you have a good, a high risk of damaging, breaking these uh, ball ends, or even stripping out your hex ends here, right? So, get yourself a good Allen 
wrench set, right? Metric, standard, whatever sizes you're working with. And uh, we're gonna need a four mil, right? So always use the ends, the, these Allen heads, just to break the bolts loose, all right? I don't even know, I haven't even tried it yet. Who knows, it could have been loose, all right? I'm just gonna, you wanna just break them loose. Once they're broken loose, then you can get your tool in there and 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 quicken up the job. So, oh, these were loose. All right, so which is expected is a brand new engine. You know, I did the heat cycles. I broke in the engine. Obviously, shit's gonna get loose, right? If I would have kept running it, running it, eventually, these bolts could have possibly backed o backed off. But shoot, it, I didn't have any exhaust leaks. It's just that. Oh, this one is tight. See, oh, see that? You heard that? That one. I wish that this one was as snug as this one. All right, but I didn't have any exhaust leaks or nothing like that. But eventually this would have came out. So once you break in them loose with this here, because you have more leverage, then you can get your ball end in, your ball end in there. All right, hook up your drill and get busy. Like, like hurry up with the job then, you know? Or if you don't have any tools like drills or other hand tools, then uh, you, you're stuck and you're gonna have to use these, all right? And uh, oh, shit, back in the 90s, not even late 80s, I, that's all I used was these type of tools. You know? Another thing I'm noticing, this spark plug I mentioned before, it's the same crap spark plug. Uh, I can't believe how well it ran with that, even after the break-in, but yeah, so. Maybe these spark plugs aren't getting crappy anymore. Maybe they're getting better and better. But obviously we're gonna be putting a freaking NGK in there. Uh, what else? I'm not gonna be taking out this trainee anymore, all right? I had plans to uh, upgrade it with the quick change diff and use these Dark Soul. Um, these are awesome, man. These work great. I was gonna pop these in, but not yet, all right? You guys remember that, I have videos of this. All right, Dark Soul tubes, spark numbers, these are awesome, man. All right, and it definitely does strengthen your outdrive uh, dip cups here, your outdrive cups. And so, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is for now. One day in the future, when I do upgrade this whole transmission and run the grease I like to run and all that and the differential weight uh, oil that I like to run, we will do everything over, okay? But for now, we're gonna run it until she breaks. Okay, we're just gonna upgrade a couple of things. Okay, so stay tuned. I got the shops out right now. I really do appreciate that this came stock with it. I do not have to buy one or use one that I already have. I can just save it for my 5SC. And we will the rear shocks, I will not upgrade these uh, tops, but the front ones, we will be upgrading these. I will be taking advantage of the ones that I have left here. <clears throat> I got these left here, so I will take advantage of these. And I do not think these bottoms fit from what I can remember, because these shock shafts are way thicker than these. So I don't think I will upgrade these. If they fit, I will upgrade them, but I don't think so. And that's it. So let's keep going at this. Okay, over here, another quick look. I like this thing, I wish, I may upgrade this later on in the future, not just yet. It's not broke, so, I mean, you guys know, I'm here now, I'm, I'm, I'm in here, right? Now's the time to do it, correct? But, we'll get back to that another time. Just like we're gonna get back to this transmission another time. There is nothing wrong with this transmission. It's strong, everything is cool. It's just me, I gotta have that quick change diff. And I like to have that, the whole case in aluminum. That's just the way I am. All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna use up here. 
there's nothing wrong with this this top plate okay i could straighten this out one two three i can straighten this out right here in my vice um but I th we're gonna do something different here we're going to yeah i can even straighten this out over there over here just put it up put it upside down here and, and press on it but i don't know i may use a turtle racing one here and as you can see i got some parts laid out here we're gonna go over this together uh not 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 that much stuff here but I'm, I'm i don't know i'm probably gonna save this carbon fiber for my 5sc or my baja 5b We will be customizing this and drilling some holes here because we will be running this skip plate here. All right. And we will be drilling out the new chassis as well. All right. So let's mount the new chassis up here and get it ready for the build. All right. That's it over here. Here's the, the ass part. Thing looks good. I'm just gonna clean her down a little bit, wipe some stuff down. All right, I will not be changing the transmission this time, but I will next time, possibly when we replace the engine. All right, and maybe upgrade this plate in the future, but for now, we're gonna keep her stock. I also have RCR brakes. Where are you? There you are. But we will be using that for the 5SC instead. <clears throat> All right, this is good enough. Stock is fine. I run stock on my drag Baja, my other Bajas, so five Bs. But um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll, no, I would, I'm not gonna, I decided not to install front brakes. We can always do front brakes as well. I got the kit. I got the kit here from Moroven. There it is, it's the cable version, not the hydraulic. And that's it, is is a pipe that I like. We got the heavy duty nine millimeter dog bones. All right, so not bad, this ass is pretty nice. Just clean her up a little bit better. And that's it, it's just a quick look, all right? And uh, I don't know yet, but I may decide to replace these. All right, probably upgrade them. I don't know, we'll see. All right, just that. I don't need these coming out. We could, we can if we, uh, where are they? You know, we got, we got a few here we could try out. So we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll decide later on. All right, a little bit later on. I can just probably just keep her like this for now. All right, so my girls are over here. What's the name of this game you guys are playing? Fortnite. What is it? Fortnite. Fortnite. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right, so we got some goodies here. We also have more goodies coming from Roven. All right, so when they come here, I will show you part numbers. All right, for now, we got an HBI part number here from HBI Racing. All right, and I think this might be his last one. All right, he's having a hard time. Everything's back order, back order, back order. And when, if that happens to you guys, if you guys can't come across uh, some HPI parts, don't sweat it. Don't be like, oh, the Baja's done. It's not done. You can always, you can get almost any Baja part from Roven or 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 King Motors. You know what I'm saying? Because they both have Baja platforms. All right, but. If, Here's the HPI one. All right, there's the part number. Okay, and this is for this here. All right, we're gonna get rid of that plastic shit. Where is it? This here. We're gonna get rid of this here. And and put an aluminum and a nice bearing here. All right, just like what we did to my drag Baja. All right. 
we got that. We'll keep this there. And what else? Yeah, so let's get busy here. We got this here. When we get to this, we're going to go over it. There's a lot of questions about, oh, how do you like the, the cage, the fuel tank up top? And all I can say is I love it so far. I have no issues whatsoever. This thing has taken a beating. All right, I've landed a couple of times. Not once, but a few times upside down. I mean, you can see the trophies I got here, right? There's plenty of trophies here. All right, we will be taking this fuel tank out because I want to go over this here. See, so yeah, this is the only thing I don't like. You guys never know. This is brand new. I never pulled this out or nothing. So you guys could get air leaks like this. You never know. This here can mess up somebody's run, you know, the way it, the engine runs. So sometimes you got to go over your stuff, even though it's brand new, just to solve you some headaches in the future. See this? So we're going to go over that. I may throw some... Uh, some special tape here that's heat reflective. You know, maybe just tape the hell out of this underneath of this um, fuel tank. We're gonna go over the shocks and we're gonna decide on what to use here, guys. So, what are we gonna use here? Uh, okay, so we got, I got some extended hubs from Roven, but I think, and, and I, I like them. I want to use them because they're lighter. They're light. So check this out. See this? 149 grams, right? All right, that's all four. All right, so let me put all four of the vertical. All right, vertical is kind of different. It's weird, it's got these posts there. There's no screws or nothing holding on, onto that pin. Is the four, and you're at two zero one grams. All right, you see that? Again, let's put the four from Roven 48. Nice, lightweight, right? Nice. They're wider, too. These are wider. But I don't want to go too wide on this. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the vertigo on this. They're heavier. I was gonna try to keep the heavier stuff for the 5SC, but I'd rather use these lighter ones for my Baja 5B or my, um, I do have extended ones on my 5SC, but I, I think I'm gonna use these because these are a little bit wider, all right? These are just, these are much, a little even wider than the vertical ones here, so a little bit wider. So I may, I, I'm gonna save these for the 5SC. And then I think I'm going to take the 5SC ones, the extended ones that I put there, off, and save it for a Baja 5B. All right, so this is what I wish I had on my, on my 5SC. Okay, so the verticals are the ones. You guys want part numbers? All right, here it is. All right, that's for the rears. Here's the front. All right, with the clipless steel shafts. All right, and what else? This here, I think I won't use now. All right, maybe I should just get it. Nah, I'm not wrong with this. It's the heavier, this is lighter. So, yeah, I mean, this will look nice here, but nah, here it is, look. See that? All right, so yeah, I'm going to save this for the 5B or my 5SC. And then maybe one day when I do the transmission here, like, I'll swap it out. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this one here. It's thinner or lighter. All right, so I'm going to put this guy back. Yeah, so another thing I've been thinking about it. I mean, I love the grabber clutch belt from Turtle. Okay, but what I don't like about it for the Baja platform is I can't run the stock... Uh, pinion gears because I okay. you know these won't fit you're forced to run their gears so on my MTXL I, I didn't have that issue and on here I mean yeah you can run a different um, housing a different bearing it's pretty cool yes it's nice but I, I just got I'm not gonna be having gears all over the place I got a, a, a good amount of Baja gears now I'm not gonna be buying more 
Baja gears from Turo Racing or from different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. I got some black bones. I got HBI stuff. I have Roven. I got Primal gears. I don't need to uh, be carrying more shit. So I'm going to return this and probably use a. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with this. This needs a good cleaning. Sat for a while. You know, I can sand her down or I can give it to my friend that has a machine shop. And he can cut me in some grooves like this. See this? Look at that. That's beautiful right there. See that? That right there will grab really good. And I like the way he drill this out for lightweight and, and for ventilation. This is a sealed one. Alright, so it's pretty cool. I can do that. Or I may just get like a... I think uh, Ray, Track the Hobbies, my, my local... Um, Hobby store has a vertical clutch that has some slots on them so it'll vent. And I hope it has some lines in there. We'll see. Alright, so I may, I may just swap them out. Alright, I like how this was drilled out. I like the quality of it. This won't rust on you. There's good there's grooves in there that to grab good. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that. You know, so, so yeah, so I'm, I, this is going to go bye-bye, all right, and what else, what else? Yeah, so for now, I, I want to put back the stock pinion that comes with it. I don't know what, okay, so I just counted it, and it's a 17 tooth, all right? 17 tooth, no wonder she's wheeling and really good besides the short, being short, but yeah, I'm gonna keep that there because I'm gonna I will be adding a little bit more weight, but I will be also adding more strength to this guy. So 17 tooth will be fine. Alright. And then for this engine here, we will be giving it some more power with a couple of bolt-ons. And she felt great before. She's just gonna feel better when I'm done. And she can scream. So I have no problem using the 17 tooth here. If I feel that this engine runs out of gear too quick, I need more gearing, I can always put an 18 tooth or 19. I got plenty of 19s laying around. You know what I'm saying? So, no worries. All right, so what else? Yeah, we got this brake system here with the bearing. I'll use that with the 5SC or the 5B in the future. Put that away. What else, what else? Um, all right, so shock towers. Oof. All right, we got to go over shock towers real quick. Um, okay, so this year I could put away as well. It's a Toro Racing one. It's very nice. And I just got to thank Roven for giving me one an aluminum already stock. Okay, so you're saving me some money. I will save this for my 5SC. All right, so I'm going to reuse the stock one. Put this one away. Let's get her out. 